My name is Murtaza Monfardi and I'm Iranian. I'm the early stage researcher number 13 in the Smart Answer Framework and I'm doing my PhD at National Technical University of Athens. In this video, I'll talk to you in brief about my contribution in this project and my PhD. The title of my PhD is CFDCA Analysis and Optimization Method with Industrial Application. It is done mainly by developing the adjoint method and particularly the continuous adjoint method to the acoustic analysis. The goal is to build up a shape optimization tool in order to reduce the generated noise of flying objects such as airfoils. I like programming and this is what I've been doing since the start of my PhD. I program on the in-house code which is practically a flow solver of the group I'm working with. Uh, the code is fully parallelized on GPUs or graphic processing units and collaborating with my colleagues here I learned a lot about programming these devices. The first step for me was to add the Fox William Hawking's acoustic analogy to the in-house code and uh, acoustic analogies in general uh, they propagate the flow induced noise to a very far location in a computationally cheap way. Then the continuous adjoint for the aforementioned process was developed and programmed, which needed a lot of math and coding. Then why adjoint methods? Uh, shape optimization industrial problems are usually complicated and computationally quite expensive as the number of design variables are high. But then not every optimization method might be appropriate to be used. But adjoint methods are advantages since their computational cost is independent of the number of design variables. Great opportunities are second months for collaboration and being exposed to the industrial work environment. I did my second months in Volkswagen in Wolfsburg, Germany to get familiar with the processes used by the automotive industry for noise simulation and Siemens software in Leuven, Belgium to learn the computational air acoustic method used in commercial softwares. And of course it's always interesting when you can participate in outreach activities such as European Researchers Night, when you can talk to public about your research and you can see how they think and react on that.